ALS alternative learning systems. Please come inside. Please come. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So, Anjali, you have the choice either to retain your mask or to take it off. Sir, I'll take it off for the time. Good. So, where are you now coming from? Sir, um, presently I'm staying near Old Rajendra Nagar in Delhi and I flew back 10 days before uh, from my hometown in Dhar. Indoor. You came by air? Yes, sir. How long is the flight? Sir, um, it's one hour 10 minutes. Was everybody having a mask on the flight? Yes, sir. They did follow the protocols. Did they serve you any food? No, sir. Indigo. Uh, I came by Indigo, so we were not given any food. Okay. Now, you got the scholarship, Chancellor's scholarship. Yes, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And uh, overall second position graduation. Yes, sir. And uh, you just got essay writing competition. Yes, sir. So, what's the topic on which you wrote the essay for which you got the award? Sir, it was on um, women empowerment and their literacy uh, and how it would help a nation uh, grow further. Okay. Now, talking about literacy, what's the male female literacy gap in uh, Madhya Pradesh? Sir, in Madhya Pradesh, the, um, talking about the gap between the male and the female, it's, it's around 17%. Um, Around 74% uh, of the population of male is literate, uh, while so for females, these numbers are around uh, 50 or 55. Mm -hmm. So, in that sense, there's a huge gap. Why is this gap there? Sir, um, firstly, there are social um, reasons to it, uh, especially the patriarchal mindset uh, of the people that a woman should not be going out to pursue education. Mm -hmm. um, Sir, so secondly, uh, it's also the ruralization of the female population. They are more in the rural areas where these norms are uh, more strengthened. So, they are not allowed to further move. Okay. Suppose, uh, Anjali, you are the district magistrate of Indore. Right, sir. How would you address this question? Sir, um, as a district magistrate, <coughs> Uh, for improving the female literacy, I would first of all have a, uh, I'll start with the very basic, which is the uh, problem of dropouts that we see at the primary level. So at primary level, we have uh, gross enrollment ratio around 95 to 97 percent, but there are dropouts. So that is one thing I would ensure that girls don't drop out. And in fact, even for boys, um, so, so at the secondary level, uh, perhaps uh, providing them skills uh, and also making them aware that uh, jobs could be taken up uh, later if they are more educated because we find many males leaving the secondary education and going out for jobs. Um, and so to promote like the higher education in my district, sir, I, I believe awareness is one thing which is missing out uh, among people uh, to get their uh, children higher education, especially the females. So campaigns like Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, uh, these could provide a behavioral nudge to the people to come forward to educate. Good. You passed out uh, in uh, 2017. Yes, sir. And what have you been doing since then? Sir, uh, I, I was preparing for uh, civil services. And uh, in between this time, I have taken out time to pursue my hobbies also of uh, painting, especially the gold art that interests me. And sir, um, last month, uh, I was also selected for uh, IFSCA, which is the International Financial Services Center at Gift yeah. City. Uh, sir, International Financial Services Center uh, in Gift City, but I'm awaiting my joining. Gift as City? Of, sir, Gift City in uh, Gujarat. In Gujarat? Yes, sir. In what is the International Financial Services Center Authority. I see. So it's a private company? Uh, no, sir. It comes under Ministry of Finance. 
uh, and it's a government owned a government uh, okay. regulator okay so what is it is it the same level as uh, central services or what is it like sir it's a grade a uh, position grade yes sir Okay. And uh, it's a regulator uh, because uh, earlier in the gift city, which is an SEZ, there were various regulators who were operating, like SEBI and RBI. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, come up with the umbrella regulator concept so that all the financial entities in this particular uh, gift city uh, would be regulated by uh, the IFSC authority. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, who has taken over the Twitter? So Ellen, Ellen Musk has taken over Twitter. Mm. What was the price he paid? Sir, um, I think $54 billion, uh, 44, $43 billion. And uh, then what happened to Tesla shares? Did they go up or did they come down? Sir, um, Tesla, I'm, I'm not aware of the impact on Tesla shares. Who is the richest uh, individual on the earth? Sir, Elon Musk. And who is the fifth richest? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware. Is there a Gujarati? Sir, if I can recall, Mr. Gautam Adani, uh, perhaps he was. What will be his net worth? Sir, I, I'm sorry, I, I would be unable to make a guess somewhere in. Have you read uh, Piketty's uh, book on inequality? Uh, no, sir, not. Have you heard of him? Yes, sir. Thomas Piketty. Yes, sir. Okay. Where is he from? Yes, um, sir, I'm sorry. I'm okay. To so, what is it all about? What is inequality? What, what is he trying to tell us? Sir, Thomas Piketty um, says that whenever there's inequality, it's the bottom rung of the population, which is the rural people, uh, who bear the brunt of it the most be it the inflation or uh, other things and therefore to drive the consumption in the economy we need to empower the bottom rung because if they consume they will spend more if they'll spend more there will be more uh, investments okay. Okay. okay please go Anjali. yes sir shrotriya yes sir what's the meaning of shrotriya sir um, in rigvedic times um, there were uh, two kinds of people. One who used to uh, recite the Vedas. They were called as Vachaks. And there were other class of people who used to uh, listen to these Vedas and transmit the knowledge to the others. They were Shrotas. And over a period of time, they came to be known as uh, Shrotriyas. So you must be having good knowledge of doing that? So not very in-depth, but uh, I, I can... Somewhat I know about Rig Veda and other Vedas. You do? Yes, sir. I have read about certain... Is it the oldest of the Vedas or youngest of the Vedas? <coughs> sir, it's the oldest one. Uh, written during the early Vedic... Of the early Vedic period. Roughly what time frame? Sir, I am not unable to recall the time. It's 500 years ago, 1000 years ago. Who sir, it was... Um, sir, Rig Veda... Sir, I'm not aware. So, country is culture. Yes, sir. Your, as you say, your family is culture. Yes, sir. So, you like singing songs? Yes, sir. Singing and humming songs uh, in my free singing time. Singing and humming? Yes, sir. But what kind of songs? Sir, the general um, film songs, Bollywood songs. Bollywood songs. Mm. Which song? According to you, you are best able to sing. Sir, um, I think I, I enjoy singing all the songs. Like uh, when I hum it uh, naturally, I I don't focus much on the like um, so uh, technical aspect. Singer, is it? Sir, yes, to an extent, but more I I just do it for my uh, self, uh, uh, like joy and uh, refreshment. Not for stage performances? No sir, I have not, not performed anywhere. You like following tennis? Yes. Name five best tennis and male and female players in the world over a period of time. Sir, um, 
it, uh, I would start with the older ones like uh, no. Rod. Oh. Sir, um, I would say Rod Lever was one of the fine players and uh, then even Andrea Gassi had a, a good uh, play, playing style. Um, so after that, Pete Sempras had was quite impressive and so the yeah in 2000 we had the trio of um, Roger Federer, Djokovic and Nadal. These three are undeniably the best in the tennis. And so among the females, uh, particularly Steffi Graf comes to my mind. Have seen her matches. And uh, Serena Williams, the Williams sisters, Serena and Venus Williams, both are great. Uh, Sir Lindsay Davenport and uh, Kim Clijsters also. Lindsay Davenport. Yes, sir. So she was. You consider her great. Sir, she did went on to um, for a few Grand Slams, uh, as far as I recall. The Kim Clijsters because uh, she recovered, like she she had her kids and she went on to play and win even the U.S. Open. So. That was some. That was an achievable, remarkable feat. Mm-hmm. Sir, in India we have Sanya Mirza and Mahesh Bhupti and the Pacer also. Not Vijay Amritraj, not Ramanathan Krishna. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. These are over also great players. Yes. So you are biased in favor of a lady player, Sanya Mirza. No, sir. But I think among the greatest of all um, tennis players. Uh, there are many more uh, ahead of Sanya Mirza. Which lady has won the maximum number of Grand Slam titles? Sir, it is Martina Navrati Luna. No. Sir, I'll have to okay. look up on that. So, you are a computer science hmm. graduate. Yes, sir. What is the age of the universe? Sir, there are various hypotheses that um, are there to predict the age and most credible of that was the Big Bang uh, theory which tells around 13.5 billion years ago the universe was formed. 13.5? Yes, sir. You are approximately correct. Okay, sir, somewhere around 13.2, I remember. 13.8. 8. What oh, is thank the you, sir. size of the universe? Sir, I'm, I'm not aware of the science. You are a science, science graduate. You have been television. If the Big Bang happened 13.8 billion years ago, what would be the science to do? Sir, it's still it's like a balloon which is expanding yes, at the rate of uh, speed, speed of velocity of light. Yes, sir, and it's still expanding, so I think. Um, its size is like it's dynamic, it's still expanding somewhere and somewhere contracting so at the same time. You, you can't say because it is still dynamic. Yes, sir, probably. No, 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 no. Sir, I'll check on okay. that. Coming back to computer science, Chandrayaan to fail. Hmm. What had happened? Sir, we were able to um, like orbit uh, in the rover. We could reach that, but when we try to do the soft landing on moon, uh, our lander, Sir Vikram, uh, it was not able to do a soft landing and it crashed as right. soon. Sir, um, it so happens that uh, when we try to land a particular lander on any of the surface, uh, for that example, moon, uh, the speed had has to be regulated, the speed with which it comes down. It has to be achieved in certain uh, time sec- seconds, and we were not able to do that. So my question would be inspired. Sir, uh, sure sir, I'll have to read on this. Uh, I was aware that we there's a certain speed that we need to achieve, but we could not do that. The instructions to slow down the speed do not go through. Okay, sir. Right, sir. People should have been better experts in computer science. Yes, sir. There's a, there's a scope for that. Two more questions. Why is Chabahar important for India? Sir, um, firstly, right now to uh, send anything uh, in the Central Asia, we need to access through Pakistan and then we reach Afghanistan. Uh, with Chabahar, we'll be directly connected to Iran and uh, 
we will not have to take that uh, route through pakistan and so secondly it's a it's a gateway to the central asia uh, connecting central asia and then beyond into the west asia as well um, also sir we are west seeing west asia also sir from iran uh, further we can uh, have the uh, connect connections to the west asia as well why do you have to go through iran for going to west asia sir it is like uh, one of the probable uh, uh, aspects with which for which we can use it and sir it's a, a very strategic port also it's important because uh, china has gwadar in pakistan which is very nearby so we have somehow try to counter the counter that by having our own chabahar china has put more money in chabahar than india sir i'm i am a little unaware of this aspect last question yes sir. suppose you were posted as either dc or sp okay. how would you have handled the hijab controversy sir as a um, dc or sp my um, first thing would have been to maintain the law and order if it in case uh, the protests are getting What was the hijab controversy sir it was about certain um, schools and universities not allowing the head scarf to be worn by the muslim girls and there was a protest that head scarf or face face cover uh, sir hijab is uh, a head scarf uh, and uh, so that was not allowed and there were protests that it's a uh, part of their culture and essential religious practice as such um, so and sir after a few days the karnataka high court in their verdict uh, honorable high court had said that it was not a part of the essential religious practice so um, children are supposed to wear normal uniform without the hijab what could you have done as pc or sp my question mm-hmm. remains sir um, i would have tried talking to the parents of the um, girls uh, so that they don't drop out like we're seeing some girls they are dropping out because of uh, this <coughs> issue and they're not being able to come to the school jumping the gun before the question went to high court hmm. several days had elapsed yes sir what we would have done before that sir um one thing that is there is the uh, not letting this uh, violence or any kind of hatred uh, uh, flare up so uh, probably keeping a ground force ready to oversee that there are no instances of uh, communal violence uh, that could happen and uh, at the same time sir um, talking to the school administration and the girls uh, who are there in the school and making them aware of that uh, their education right to education uh, is more prominent a similar question had cropped up in kerala yes sir a, a few years back yes sir and it was so well handled that you no controversy arose and no nobody <coughs> was required to go to a court sir um, i am not aware how did they handle it but Uh, as far as i recall uh, kerala high court had said that head scarf or uh, hijab is a essential religious practice and therefore uh, girls are allowed to wear it in the schools as far as there was no controversy the dc or sp will have should have played a much more proactive role in diffusing the situation yes sir Yeah, so I find you are doing very well in uh, this computer science. Yes. Did you not appear for any campus interview? Sir, um, I made a conscious decision that I would like want to um, pursue the civil services. So I did not sit for the placements. You did not appear for campus interview at all. Uh, no, sir. But what would happen to your job satisfaction? You spend a great deal of time learning. Science. Now you want to be a civil servant, sir. Um, I think, sir, uh, in civil services, given the opportunity and the uh, diverse platform to work for, um, 
I'm sure there will be uh, enough chances uh, to work for the people, their welfare, and that would provide me satisfaction on a personal front, uh, on a professional front. Sorry, sir. And so I've always have had inspired from the uh, impact that the civil servants can create in the lives of people. So these inspirations are the motivations why I want to. Join. So tell me how you are going to use your knowledge of computer science. Suppose you were yes. uh, district magistrate in this place. Now, how would you? Utilize your knowledge of computer science for welfare of the people and don't give me those solutions which are already there. Right. Sir, um, uh, as a, a district uh, magistrate, um, so firstly, um, I can uh, utilize the knowledge of app making, which is building of apps. And there could be dedicated apps through which people can register their complaints and grievances directly to the administration, and uh, it could be resolved on a, a very emergency basis. Uh, that one thing can be done. Um, so apart from that, uh, the how would that app mechanism work? Can you just uh, take us through? Suppose as a citizen, I am out there. Yes, sir. Then what? Sir, um, there could be options of. Um, Mentioning of uh, what is the particular problem, they could just give a description of it, and uh, probably uh, a system where they could even attach a photograph of whatever issue they are seeing around or there if is bothering them. Okay, that's what the citizen has done. Now what? Yes, how sir. Do you finally, solve the problem, and how do you communicate him? Communicate yes. to the person through app that your problem has been or events have been addressed. Sir, um, then afterwards that particular uh, problem would could be redirected to the different ministries, concerned ministry or the department, whichever is looking for that. If it's a sanitation issue, the sanitation department can be made aware of it. And uh, a tracking system where within 24 hours that particular work has to be uh, made sure that it's done. And uh, after that, um, the government can communicate uh, through the same app that particular problem has been resolved or not. Have you seen such apps? They just keep transferring from one department to another. Sir, in Indore, we have uh, I have myself used the app three one one. It's called, um, and they are regularly regularly updating it, and it's it's quite successful because uh, the administration has gotten more proactive in terms of knowing the problems and coming forward to solve them. Okay, tell us something about quantum computer. What do you understand by quantum computer? Sir, um, in a normal computing system, we have only two bits. Like we have to, it's either zero or one. Uh, in a quantum computer, it's an entire spectra between zero and one, and including zero one both. And it's the concept of a qubit, which can exist in uh, two states simultaneously. So, uh, for example, if I flip a coin, so. Heads and tails is like a binary thing, but when the coin is in air, there are immense possibilities of what it could be. It keeps on changing when we flip it in so the air. Qubit, uh, how many information it can store? Sir, For uh, example, bit as you said, that would be either a zero or zero. a one. Yes, what about sir. a qubit? Sir, I, infinite uh, possibilities could be there in between zero and one, but Sir, exact number I am not aware. Okay. What is a geostationary satellite? Sir, or geostationary orbit? Yes, sir. Sir, it's an uh, it's a orbit which is um, around 36,000 km uh, of height. And uh, where if the satellites are placed in this particular orbit, they appear to be uh, stationary uh, all the time when seen from the Earth. So, what will happen if the satellite is say at 40,000 or maybe 50,000 kilometers? So, they are mostly used for the communication uh, purposes uh, to establish the communication on the uh, ground. So mostly you are familiar with a point called Lagrange point? Yes, sir. Because yes, sir. Sir, uh, with respect to the Aditya solar mission, uh, where uh, NASA is planning, uh, and in fact, sorry, sir, where ISRO is also planning to uh, send a satellite at some L1 point, which is Lagrange 1 point. What is that point? Sir, I've, uh, I would not be able to recall that. 
So Anjali, yes, sir. Um, you are fond of this bond painting. Yes, sir. Who are bonds? So these are the uh, tribal people uh, who live in the central India, Madhya Pradesh, and uh, the nearby states of uh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, mm -hmm. and even Andhra Pradesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, something more about them? What is the population? Sir, uh, there are around uh, 2 million uh, of the Goan population uh, combinedly and uh, these people are artists, like the natural artists, they have uh, great artistry skills uh, and uh, sir, in, uh, particularly in MP, they all uh, reside near the Dindori region. MP or overall 2 million? Sir, overall uh, there are 2 million in uh, number and... Uh, Which is the largest tribal community in India? Sir, according to the census, it was uh, Santhal. Yes, sir. The census 2011 mentions Santhal says the. Palace. Yes, sir. In numbers. Okay. Uh, which, uh, you know, uh, gods are. Uh, are they you know, more closer to uh, Dravidians or Aryans? Sir. Um, they are more closer to the uh, Dravidian, Dravidian population. In that, which language you think is more closer for the language? Sir, I, um, they, they use the Gondi language, but it's it's closer to, sir, I, I don't know. Well, you have common sense, you are a geography student. Sir, in terms of like uh, the languages that we speak, Gondi is closer to. Dravidian, you said closer to Dravidian. Mm -hmm. Now, in Dravidian language, it's Gondi. Oh, sir, I have no idea. What is the geographical location? <coughs> geographically, uh, this Gondi so, is so, closer to. Sir, it's uh, more in, in uh, towards the south southern India, like. Ah, uh, uh, which which south we have four languages. I am asking you which language? Sir, uh, Gonds are found in Andhra Pradesh, so uh, maybe the, um, the sir, Telugu could be the language it could be okay. closer to. Okay, Telugu. Um, what is that you know, in Gondi culture? There is a festival called Polar Festival. Polar. Um, sir, I Polar. Sir, I have not heard that. No, sir. So, or in the Gondi region, mm -hmm. there is a Sarnai song. Yes, sir. What is that? Sir, it's um, there. Sarnai religion. Yes, sir. Sir, it is. Um, I know that it's a unique uh, religion that uh, the tribals follow, mm -hmm. and it's mostly connected with the nature worship. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, there was also a demand that uh, Sarna religion should be included uh, in the. Religions that India considers as the after the six major religions. Mm -hmm. So, what is that? Uh, any idea or what is it? Sarnaism does in bonds. Some bonds are famous for Sarnaism. Sir, I'll have to read on that. I am not aware with connection okay, with bonds. Bondi arts. Yes, sir. What is that in the region mostly? Sir, um, mostly the flora and the fauna of the region along with the um, trees like Mahua tree which they worship. It's their local deities mm -hmm. and uh, also the Hindu gods like um, Ganesh and Shiva are also depicted. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the more modern uh, formats, they have even tried to depict the daily world uh, items like aeroplanes and uh, cars, buses also. Mm -hmm. So what is that you are interested in what we are? So more towards the uh, depicting the motifs which represent nature. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, my favorite motif is that of a fish. Uh, perhaps it brings good luck. It is believed, and uh, some more towards the nature aspect is what. So I what do you do in that? Sir, we um, create a motif which could be an imagination of an artist, and then it is filled with very bright colors. That's a unique uh, thing in gold art mm -hmm. paintings. And then when the color is there, there's a separate layer of uh, uh, giving them 3D uh, take, uh, look. We have certain dots, fish scales and other line, lines which are drawn on that particular color. Okay, if you are appointed as chief magistrate and uh, or in charge of the tribal welfare, yes, and how will you promote Mondi Art for the rest of the world? And 
give them some source of income. Tell me three first steps which you will do. Sir, um, firstly, providing them with the skills and the yes, necessary. They are always paying for that. Yes, sir, but uh, like sir, they have been doing it on the walls. So, probably providing them the art so that they can do it on the poster uh, art and canvas. Mm -hmm. And equipment, sir, uh, which they generally do not have like brushes and colors. So, providing them. And sir, that uh, in the Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, under that, we can uh, provide them. And sir, to uh, Propagate it. Um, I can think of the trifid, uh, which already uh, procures their paintings and tries to sell outside. That can be done. And e commerce platform like Amazon and Flipkart, uh, there we can promote uh, these paintings. Uh, any agency can take them up and uh, uh, sell them. And, sir, um, apart from that, I think uh, more exhibitions and museums, like in Bhopal, we already have a tribal museum. So, such but kind of. They're all happening already, but mm -hmm. the uh, you know economy is not improving. Whatever you said is happening already. Trifid is there. Yes, and, sir. Uh, so many uh, you know agencies are there. Sir, um, the revenue which they get is um, was far less. Right now, it's improving, and uh, in fact, in COP twenty five also these paintings were uh, showcased. So uh, we, the world knows about it, but to promote it more, sir, I think the uh, probably we can uh, awareness could be generated more regarding these paintings and GI tag that could be given uh, if given to these paintings, it would be a hallmark like to identify. Well, the formal part is over. We shall call it back very shortly for a feedback. Thank you, sir. So please tell us uh, how did you find the exercise this interview? Um, sir, it was okay in my opinion. I could have uh, given certain questions. I was uh, unaware. I should have been aware of uh, sir goals. And when sir was asking about the DM and SP, how to handle that hijab, if that thing could, I could have uh, been much more aware of on that okay. those parts. Uh, second time you are going for the UPSC interview. Hmm. What is this called last time? So 149. Okay, so we have to work together so that 149 becomes 200. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Now, basically, you have it in you. You have the potential. Yes, sir. Only thing is that you have to be fair to yourself. Hmm. Eh? The full potential has to be developed. So, we we'll try to, you know, work with you on that. One is eye contact. Hmm. You are looking only at this honorable member when you are answering his questions. Okay. Engage with the rest of the board. Okay. Best way is seventy percent of the time there, thirty percent. Okay, and then honourable member asks you about uh, tennis. Yeah, you yes, said I mean then there is no. Just say A B C D E. Okay, sir. Just in the names. Okay. Don't give any explanation. The question yeah. was names. Okay. Okay. In whatever order you like. Mm -hmm. There may be follow-up questions, but don't sort of take us into your thinking process. Oh, I'm thinking of this person now. I think I will think of that person. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. To the point. Okay. And uh, what newspapers are you reading? So the Hindu. The Hindu. Only the Hindu. Yes, sir. Till now the Hindu. Okay, that's good, but not good enough. Mm -hmm. Read one more paper. Okay. Plus. An economic newspaper. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. And now, since uh, you are into international finance and all that, there can be questions on that. Okay. Okay. That's why I asked you about Twitter and all that. Yes, okay? sir. And uh, so keep track of that. Mm. Now, that would also mean how much money is transmitted across uh, the net every day. Global financial transaction. How much? Sir, I have no idea. Read it down. And what are derivatives? Sir, um, these are debt instruments that on their own they don't have any value, but they derive their value from an underlying uh, asset. What's the size of the market? 
So derivative market. Sir. Okay. Uh, All right. Read about me. All these questions could be asked. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So what do you have to do? You have time. Yeah. Yeah. What you have to do is to think of all the possible questions okay. that might come based on this interview, your last interview, the UPSC, your yes. staff, and what you're doing now. Okay, sir. Okay? Yes. Sir. And what's happening in the world, okay. in India and in the world. Hmm. Write down the questions, list the questions. You want the simplest question, write it down. Okay. Write down the answers. Because when we write, we choose words more carefully. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. And then read that up three, four times mm -hmm. and see again some mirror how you deliver. Okay, sir. If you have, you have some young friends, mm -hmm. then let them be your mirror. Yes, sir. Okay? And you will see how you, know, you deliver better and better. Yes, sir. Okay? And if you have some older friends, mm -hmm. rope them in order. Okay. Okay? Yes, sir. So then you can measure your own progress. Okay. Yes. And when you read the newspaper, you know that keep notes. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know whether foreign service is your. You yeah. know, the, 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 the number two choice. Number two. Number two choice. Well, in that case, you should listen or read the BBC, mm -hmm. Al Jazeera. Yes, sir. Okay. And if you want to be cut about the rest, mm -hmm. New York Times. Okay. Guardian. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you want to still go higher, cross 200, then you should read Le Monde, French newspaper, but in English. The okay. Spiegel, German, but in English. Okay. Okay. Start reading those. Hmm. I mean, suddenly you can be asked, you know, I mean, what is the impact of the Ukraine war on the world economy? Hmm. Hmm. And there. Uh, what is the estimate of what has been destroyed in Ukraine? Yes, sir. It's not that there is a proper estimate, mm -hmm. but the Ukrainian president has given a figure of 700 billion. Yes, sir. You know, things like that. Okay? So, project yourself as a young person deeply interested in India. Yes, sir. And therefore, finding out what is happening mm -hmm. to India and also in the world which might affect India. Thanks, sir. Okay. Yes. Not just, you know, sort of passive, wait for the newspaper hmm. and that too. But I read it around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, why not? Okay, you remain the same, no? Yes, sir. That should not be the attitude. Yes, sir. Okay. So, and, uh, uh, you know, also, I mean, can we ask about uh, this uh, male female literacy hmm. gap and all that? Yes, sir. Okay. Global literacy levels are much higher than that of India. Hmm. Okay. Read the development report okay. of your state, huh. of India, and read district online, there is a channel. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. So with all this, we shall be delighted to read your name, yes. especially since you have told us what your surname means. Yes, sir. Now you will get more tips. So actually, uh, Performance was by and large, right? But this 149 that you said, yeah. was it a UPSC interview? Yes, sir. This part of the UPSC, this international? Last year. Last, last year. year. I know. The same CSC, last year. So out of 275, you got 149. Yes, sir. So what went wrong last time? Sir, um, they gave me a situational question and uh, it was like I am the DM of a particular area and uh, that is a very orthodox uh, kind of a region where uh, there is a law and order situation and uh, they are not ready to talk to a lady DM. Um, they were not ready? To talk to a lady DM. Uh, so, because of their stereotypes and so how are you going to handle that situation? And um, to that, sir, I said that if uh, I'll first try to convince them and uh, in the negotiate or initiate a dialogue, try to know if what are their concerns, 
but ma'am told me that one of the member told me that no they're not ready to speak to a lady um so so i said that ma'am since it's a law and order problem is also there so i'll uh, ask a male subordinate of mine to perhaps break the ice and go and talk and uh, to, i think that uh, ma'am didn't like because she said you can't delegate your responsibility to somebody else if you're in that chair so i don't know the exact reason sir but this one question i think uh, put them off or i don't know the answer also what should have no, it won't be because of that only must be some other reason so but cannot be the sole reason and did that put you off that question so the successive the succeeding questions you could answer well no sir actually she was the last member so there were only like two other questions that followed after this so it was towards the end okay she thinks that go in your favor you are at great we have a happy deep disposition have a smiling face <coughs> be able to endure your certainty it will be good now where you should be careful is listen to the questions carefully okay. before you answer Like for example, twice I have to tell you that my question remains. Okay. So listen to the questions carefully mm. before you answer. I think of the answers and answer crisply mm. and clearly. Give precise answers. Don't give long answers. Okay. Right. Mm. Uh, the honourable chairman has told you many things. Mm. We'll get it. video of this um, interview yes sir and listen carefully to his instructions mm. and and try and learn from that we have about a fortnight left yes sir we have a fortnight left. it's not a very long time mm. but a fortnight is a good enough time to rectify your uh, shortcomings that has been pointed out and okay? try and do better you'll have to do much better from 149 that you got last time yes okay. uh, some of the questions that i asked you like uh, universe or tennis as he has already mentioned i asked you a question about the five best male and female players name yes sir. i may or may not agree with you yes sir. it is your choice but You can't say that Samia Mirza is one of the five best leading players in the world. You didn't say that. I, I, yes, I sir. Can't say that. You didn't say that. Hmm. But you you can't be so wide off the mark. You should be five best players and you name them. Questions on universe and then uh, Chandrayaan two. The answer is simple. Software did not function properly. Okay. Instructions given were not conveyed properly because of some glitch in the software. That is why the breaking could not take place properly, mm-hmm. and instead of landing, it crashed. Okay. And now we are going to do it again. Yes, sir. Chandrayaan. We are planning Chandrayaan three. Yes, sir. So. Please read about the uh, gas space missions also. We will go for your final interview. And uh, the question that was put by the lady member in the last previous interview: If you see the what happens, they would try to deliberately put you under stress. Mm-hmm. The idea is not to, you know, see your act. to see your answer the idea is to see how do you react to a situation under pressure you have a law and order situation and the guys would talk to a lady collector the as the time goes by this situation will get more and more tense hmm. there is every time you know the law and order situation breaking up so you are under stress how do you react to that 
So whether your answer is right or wrong is not really your thing. The how you handle the situation is more important. Whether you become nervous or you maintain your cool, you take decision, you take well thought out decision, listen to that, you implement it. If you ask your male the colleagues to go and talk to them, yeah. fair enough, you stick to that. Okay. You see, in the law and order situation, what happens? There is a very thin line between a crowd and a mob. Hmm. Right? When a crowd becomes mob, and when, when it becomes mob, you have a problem at your hand. Anything might happen after that. Hmm. There could be arson, there could be store penalty. Yes, sir. Then, so, by asking your male uh, subordinates to talk to them, if this situation can be avoided, if this situation can be resolved, by all means you should do it. Hmm. And if she didn't like, you should be able to say, but ma'am, this is what I mean. Uh, my first uh, uh, priority there is to <coughs> resolve, the, uh, resolve the issue. Yeah. Whether I am able to do it myself or I am able to do it through my male uh, subordinate, it doesn't matter. So long yeah. as the situation is over. Yes, sir. So that was probably asked to test you. Put you under under stress. Yes. So don't think that answer to this question undermined your performance in the interview. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. We wish you all the best. Thank you, sir. So Nidhi, I have to add only one paragraph in my chat. My first advice is that don't be bogged down by your past performance. Yes. Free or not. Yes. Okay. Don't think that you will be getting 150 marks this time. Yes. Stay confident. Yes. Confidence will be the key aspect in your performance. One is. Second is that in your case, uh, not many women centric uh, issues can be raised the way it was discussed last time. Yes. And you should stay confident and be sure of what you are saying. I mean, right now there is a bit of tentativeness. So, uh, we should be able to see that there is a person who can be selected, who can be considered as justified state. Now, if you don't have an image, you don't have a project. Okay? So, you should have a little bit of work. Otherwise, you are doing great. The quality of your response is very good. But you are not saying with as much force as it is required. So, more energetic. Say a bit more loudly, okay. be confident, that is a key word. Thank you, sir. So, um, actually, I have a couple of things. Um, one is, uh, what is your dress? Uh, sir, I'll be wearing a sari. DM like? Yes, sir. Dressing? Yes. Sir. I don't want to say like it. Power dressing. Power dressing has to be there. You can't go like a housewife. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Your hairstyle, everything has to change. Yes, sir. Okay. You go as if how a DM will be yes, Think sir. of that, it will give you another 20 marks. Okay, sir. That is number one. Number two, today's performance is far better than the one for Yes. You are good a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. we cannot imagine of that kind of a score for you if your interview is taken today by another. Still, you have another, I think, 20 or 25 marks for the children. Yeah. So, go with that confidence and uh, prepare on your birthday time more careful like gone you have written. Yes. Now, 2 million is not the gone population at all. Don't give such wrong figures. Okay. Okay. Yes. Please know more about the tribes. Okay. In, you, know, you have so many tribes in any case. Yes. Number one tribal state of India. So yes, you sir. do all those groundwork properly. Mm -hmm. And even suggestion, I have to know how you promote that. Now with some like you are talking about art. Mm -hmm. Where else can we use? Not the painting, you can use it with the uh, you know, maybe the dressmaking also. Mm -hmm. So many things are there. Yes, sir. Do give some uh, slightly which is not been done already. Okay. Work on that. Okay, you mm -hmm. said they want to uh, cop 36 also. Mm -hmm. That's good. But you come up with the idea where you can promote and you know, they can earn more money 
So all these things are being more innovative or try to anticipate to everyone because this is something you should anticipate. Yes. Sir. Everything about bonds. Yes, sir. You are very clearly mentioned in the word. Yes, sir. So then, then what is that? I ask a couple of questions. You then can ask something else. Yes. But I ask not to ask you. Hmm. But everything about bonds. Okay. See, and even in a Telugu book. Yes, sir. And you took so much of time for that. Yes. Geography is your option. Well, you know it very well. Mm-hmm. With the location, you know which is the South Indian language closer to that. You can simply make a guess. Yes, sir. We think would have been. I expected you to you know, spontaneously answer, mm-hmm. even without knowing that. Just by applying common sense. I said, you know, your geography is your option. Yes, sir. You could have so apply common sense. And we are not here to put you down. Yes, sir. Meaning in the interview board also, they yes, want sir. to select you. Oh. Not to reject you. Yes, sir. So always think in, with that said, any question coming, mm-hmm. you should think that you know this question has to select me, not yes, to reject. Me. So engage, speak. I mean, you are able to speak well. There is no problem. Mm-hmm. You have knowledge. Mm-hmm. So use it confidently. Yes, and sir. your attire should tell you tell that a DM is coming inside the phone. Sure, sir. That you are not sure. I yeah. don't know how you are sure. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Very good. Okay. All the best. Thank you, sir. We look Thank forward you, sir. to reading your name. Thank you, sir. Don't come for mock interview next year. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. ALS Alternative Learning Systems